Yes, uh, hi, my name is uh, Bernard Brault. I'm with uh, OTN uh, Systems. Um, the purpose of this video is to uh, show you a, uh, a new feature that we're doing, which is basically ladder network or subrings. Uh, so I'm going to show you uh, on a network how I would actually uh, create such a, a subring. All right, so uh, let's go take a look at the uh, connection layout here. Um, now, what do we see? This is the, uh, the actual uh, network itself and what we see here is basically a fairly highly mesh network but um, if you've been used to think in terms of sonnet um, even though it doesn't really apply anymore in the uh, for MPLSTP it's really meshed but uh, you could see here that you have like sort of a main core ring uh, which consists of all the nodes uh, that starts in the 1000 range and then you have like uh, uh, other rings in the network like uh, the 2000 nodes uh, and and so on uh, so um, and you see here that you know traditionally in the sonnet uh, uh, you wouldn't it would be very relatively hard to actually connect a, uh, a sub ring like uh, this one here in the 4000 range because they're not sort of homing into the same core ring but uh, one site is homing into the node 1140 right here and the other homing is between 40 30 and this node right there 2090 all right so I've started to create a uh, a major core uh, ring the idea here is to uh, either for SCADA or voice over IP obviously you want to reach out to all of these sites that have telephony or have SCADA so I've let me show you the ring that I have uh, and this uh, main ring consists of the 1000 in blue here Right, and then it has a subring in uh, purple right there in the 2000, and it has two tie points right here. Subring number three in green. Let me zoom into the green section right there, and you see that there's a node in between uh, right there, and this was causing an issue back uh, uh, with some Sonnet devices. You couldn't have a, a, a match node with a tie site, uh, uh, basically two tie sites uh, uh, that had a node in between. This was like sort of an orphan node. That's no longer the case here. Uh, and uh, subring number four, uh, this is the one I was explaining earlier, uh, that basically, you know, touches the, uh, the main ring uh, actually on uh, right there and it touches a, a subring right here. Uh, finally subring number seven in purple that's a pretty straightforward one very similar to what I showed you before. So so the purpose here is to add uh, these uh, 6,000 uh, nodes right here and make them part of this uh, sort of logical LAN uh, as a subring that we're going to call subring uh, number six. All right, so let's go ahead and create this. So uh, let's just add this. Let me open up the window a little bigger. And let's call it subring six. And um, <clears throat> it's not a point to point tunnel, it's not a logical ring. That would be the core ring, it's a subring. And next, it's going to ask me uh, what ring system is a part of it's part of ring number one right there and so the next step here is to asking me what are the devices that are going to belong to uh, this this uh, sub ring six and you need to highlight the uh, nodes in the core system as well so I'm gonna pick up the core and then everybody that's part of oh sorry 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 I'm picking the wrong system right there sorry about that all right let's go right here there you go in the 6000 so I'm gonna pick up the two core and continue and basically create this subring right there so these are the nodes that participate in subring number six including the two uh, connecting points to the core rings uh, next step is to uh, it says go ahead and give us a link selection how these are going to be interconnected and you basically just select how you interconnect the selected node so that's pretty trivial uh, and we're gonna like make this selection right here closing it in uh, next step is asking for a uh, ring break uh, that's how it works so we're gonna choose uh, between the 6010 it has two neighbors 
Uh, 10 has a 20 and a 60 neighbor. Let's pick up the 20 neighbor and that's where the ring break is going to take place. These are the LSPs and the labels are selected for you by the extra and takes care system. Here's a uh, overview here that's showing basically the ring break between again between 10 and 20 and here's a sub ring so uh, we're done here and that's it. Congratulations, uh, we just uh, created the uh, subring uh, number six, and, uh, and there it is, right here. All right, I hope you enjoyed this.